Your Majesty, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a question or a comment in the Leo viewing room at soulgarden.tv. I'll do my best to shout back one week later. Well, it's overcast today for the Royalty of the Zodiac and a high chance of some anxiety, especially around intimacy and trust issues. The moon is still in Pisces, so your emotional focus is on your boundaries, and that can put you in a position of feeling randy, that can make you put you in a position of feeling anxious. You're emotionally sensitive to every border, including the border of honesty and lies, the border of life and death, and the border of when we surrender our money or surrender our bodies to someone else. So you are emotionally sensitive to start off with. On top of that, the moon will cross over Uranus during the course of the day, which means there will be a trigger to fall into an old emotional booby trap. Okay? When I mean emotional booby trap, I mean this is a space that when life goes sour, you always fall into, you've always worried about it, and it's almost like the worry becomes greater than the issue. All right? So if you find yourself freaking out, like maybe obsessing that your boyfriend's cheating or obsessing that someone's lying to you or obsessing, oh, goddess, I'll never have anyone, that's the booby trap, your majesty. And it's not just about the booby trap. It's about that Saturn retrograde opposition in Virgo. In other words, there are areas of your self-esteem management, of your soul capital management, that play into this booby trap. If you felt better about yourself, you wouldn't worry that there was no suitor right now because you know you are the shit. You're going to draw it in regardless. So self-esteem, soul capital, productivity is all part of this. And by productivity, it may just mean, hey, stop worrying about finding a partner and get out there, be productive, and put yourself out there, your majesty. So look for one of those two today and don't fall into the booby trap. Then finally for our shout out, goes to a girl or a woman, I should say, named Lisa, who's a Leo, who posts a comment in the Leo uh, comment room about the chapters of astrology. She was asking, what's the difference between chapter one and chapter two? How many chapters are there in astrology? What the hell are chapters? Well, chapters, Lisa, are 10 degrees of the transit. There are 30 degrees in a transit. The sun goes one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree, five degree, all the way up to 10. Every 10 degrees is a chapter. Every chapter, we are experiencing a certain aspect of that transit. So in chapter one, we're just getting our feet wet. When the sun's in chapter one, you're just figuring out what are my problems, where do I stand? It's kind of an assessment. Chapter two, we actually start to deal with solutions, looking at solutions, expanding, learning, talking to people, figuring it out. And in chapter three, we solve the issue or don't solve the issue. That's the chapter, the final 10 days, where we light cast through that situation and move on to the next topic. Hope that helps, Lisa. All right, that's all I have for Shout Out Wednesday. See you, folks, tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So.